Hello everyone, uh, my name is Alexei Demchenko and I'm from the University of Missouri at St. Louis. Uh, my lab Glycoworld is uh, dealing with uh, all aspects of uh, uh, carbohydrate chemistry and I work with the uh, excellent team of uh, postdoctoral fellows and uh, graduate students. Carbohydrates are important molecules and they are very frequently referred to as molecules of life and death. And as a matter of fact, our life begins with the uh, carbohydrate protein interaction and uh, our life sometimes ends with the carbohydrate involvement because carbohydrates are involved in every major disease. These are main areas of research in my lab. We work with chemical glycosylation, oligosaccharide synthesis, we develop new technologies for synthesis and everything that we make we test in collaboration with a variety of uh, uh, researchers throughout the world and the structures beho behind these co collaborations are shown here. Shown on the slide are a variety of different complex sugars from different organisms. The sugars are linked through oxygen atoms known as O-linkages. Uh, you don't need to be a carbohydrate chemist to see that these structures are very diverse in nature, but there is one thing in common between all of these compounds, that they're all connected via O-glycosidic linkages, shown here. And this is the main focus of research in our lab. Glycosidic linkage is one of the reasons carbohydrate uh, family is so diverse. And it's also one of the reasons that chemists dealing with carbohydrate uh, synthesis are still employed, because this uh, represents a new chirality center shown with the star and making this glycosidic linkage is a challenge. This slide summarizes some of our uh, methods that we've been developing throughout the years and highlighted in red are two methods that I'm going to very briefly introduce to you today. Multiple publication titles are shown on the slide. Highlighted in red are two publications. The first is called Hydrogen Bond Mediated Aglycone delivery, or HAD. The second is regenerative glycosylation reaction. This is regenerative glycosylation that we introduced in 2014, and very recently we showed the efficiency of this approach in application to oligosaccharide synthesis. And this method that we call hydrogen bond mediated aglycone delivery, or HAD, recently allows us to synthesize a very challenging, from synthetic perspective, uh, glycan structures. Recently we've been uh, developing new methods for the synthesis of human milk oligosaccharides, and some of our targets are shown here. Shown in the slide are different sugar molecules, shown in both chemical representations, as well as represented by different colored circles and squares. And traditional chemical synthesis of these molecules can be challenging and involves multi-step transformations. And because of the challenges associated with the solution phase oligosaccharide synthesis, we started developing automated technologies for the synthesis of glycans. And in collaboration with Keith Stein, who is a surface chemist in our department, we introduced HPLC-based automation platform, according to which all steps of the synthesis could be automated. And uh, our efforts began with the uh, old and not a very sophisticated system, and more recently, thanks to NIH support, we purchased an Agilent system that gave us additional capabilities, such as introduction of auto sampler for delivering uh, reagents for our reactions. And uh, these are the structures that have been synthesized in my lab in about uh, five years. And uh, structures in blue are shown, um, are those which were accessed with the synthesis of the automation platform. Shown in the slide are numerous complex sugar structures. And uh, to highlight this synthesis, I'm just going to show you a synthesis of N-glycans which are important core structures in uh, many uh, glycoprotein molecules. And uh, these molecules have been synthesized in 7 hours and 31% yield. Um, more recently, even with the use of autosampler, we realized that our system is not automated in the way that we want it to be. The presence of the operator is still required because the operator was needed to switch between the recirculation mode and discharge mode. 
and that's not what we wanted to uh, gain uh, from the auto automation platform. Solution came very quickly with the purchase of a split valve that allows us to just at the press of a button easily control and switch between recirculation and discharge modes. And uh, uh, just by simple reprogramming the software we can remove excess reagents or add additional quantities of reagents. And of course one you, you know, could see that there are some additional ports that can be used for adding additional uh, components and uh, mass spec was the first component that we added and this research was also funded by uh, NIGMS and uh, using uh, column chromatography for separation is one of the possibilities too. It's a very user-friendly system, it's a Windows-based software that shows you uh, different components such as prep, auto sampler, uh, pump, valve and detector and detector allows you to detect uh, what's going on in your uh, reaction with the use of uh, different uh, um, uh, wavelengths. Uh, this slide highlights the synthesis of uh, oligosaccharide that was performed in 12, 12 hours in completely automated fashion, as we call it, the press of a button. The student sets up all the vials in auto sampler, presses the button, goes home, comes back to the lab and finds the compound that is collected in the flask and it's ready for further transformation. How can you use this technology? Well. I would recommend you to start by reading our papers and maybe sending me an email for further information. Email address is d-e-m-c-h-e-n-k-o-a at u-m-s-l dot e-d-u. If you use HPLC made by Agilent, you have everything to adapt our platform to your own uh, needs. Um, you don't need to add additional components, you can use what you have. We use glass columns, but you don't have to. You can use any chromatography uh, column that you, you may have in the lab. Um, if you want to make a sequence that we already made, it's very likely that we have a program ready for you, or you can write your own programs. Um, the program can be shared. It's a small file by email or Dropbox, Clouds, or name it. Um, if you don't want to use your system for synthesis anymore, you can very quickly repurpose it for uh, chromatography separation as originally intended. If you don't have an Agilent system, it still can be interfaced with the Agilent software, but that would require interface mo uh, module available from Agilent. Um, with that, I want to um, com complete my presentation and uh, thank my excellent group members uh, for their support and hard, hard work. Um, our collaborators, uh, past uh, co-workers and of course funding uh, most of it uh, that's coming from NIGMS. Thank you very much.